All right, everybody, welcome to this quick screencast uh, during which I'm going to show you how to do something very simple, which as you see here is how to track and see page views by author using WordPress and Google Analytics. It is very, very simple. So what you do is uh, in your WordPress blog, you want to make sure that you have a plugin installed called Google Analytics. And there are a few of them, Google Analytics for WordPress. There are a few of them. So let me show you the exact one that you want. You want Google Analytics for WordPress, and you want the one by the famous Joost DeVolk. So make sure that you have that installed, okay? And once that is installed, when you are going into your settings, you're going to set it up as normal. So essentially, if you're logged into your analytics account, you can just authenticate it very easily. And if you go here to Custom Variable Settings, this is an update that Google Analytics has made, which allows you to define certain custom variables that it will track. Okay, so you can do uh, logged in users, post type, author name, tags, publication year, single category, and all categories. And essentially, this will just allow you to track it by that variable. So for Midwest sports fans, for instance, I like to track it by author name, tags, publication year, and categories. Okay, so once you have those checked, now, this plugin is obviously going to put your Google Analytics code on all of your pages. You don't have to worry about it at all. Just check these. You kind of set it and forget it. And then whenever you want to view it, go over to Google Analytics. Okay, You're going to go to Access Analytics. And this right here is an account um, where all I have access to is just viewing the reports. Okay, So I'm going to click in there. I'm going to click on View Report for MidwestSportsFans.com. And that is going to bring me to this main dashboard page. Okay, now I'm not going to go through all the different things that you can do in Google Analytics. That would take 20, 30 minutes, probably longer, um, just on all the different reports. But we're specifically going to talk about how do we view those custom variables, specifically the author one. So if you click on Visitors, this will bring up kind of your Visitors Overview right here. And if you go all the way down here, you will see Custom Variables. Click on Custom Variables. And now all of those custom variables that you defined are tracked here. Okay, so tracked by year, by author, by categories, and by tags. Again, we want to look at authors. So if we click on authors, this brings us here. And now, for the time period of May 7th through June 6th, we can see the visits and total page views by author. Okay, so for instance, this is me. So the posts that I have submitted have had 239,000 hits. Okay, and we can go on all the way down which with each author account this is by you know individual account and we can go all the way to 100 and you know see all the different people who have posts on there and this is counting even a post that was submitted 2 years ago right if it got a hit during this time period it's going to be on here okay now let's say that you want to go with a little bit of a wider view so let's say you want to go from the first of the year so if you go up here you can click on January 1 and you can set your parameter so if we go through the first of the year, now, obviously, we can see all the total numbers, but now this gives us, again, the total amount of traffic by author. Okay, very simple. Um, if you want to print that out and do a report, you can export it and export it as a PDF. Um, but that's it. That is how, uh, how you define the custom variable and then how you view it using Google Analytics.